When we think of the class of 2020, we talk about missed proms and delayed graduations. We may not think about the families grieving another loss. When Ralston Valley High School celebrated graduation in August, Cameron Holland wasn't there. He died in a car crash in December 2019. Tom Cole and I talked to his family, and they hope he's never forgotten. When you're young, obviously, you, you think you have all the time in the world. I find peace and comfort there. He always said that we'd be on top of the world together one day, and he's already there. The last thing we want is for people to forget Cameron. You get the day that you get, and that's the only one that's guaranteed for you. And hopefully you make it into that one, and you'll get the next day. People ask you, what's this day like? You say, it's the same day over and over again. You know, it doesn't change. Every day is the same, just like the day before and the one ahead. We're living the unimaginable, and it's, um, it's every, every bit as hard and harder than you think it's going to be. You know, it's like you hear about children dying. Um, yeah, your heart and mind take you places you never thought you'd go before. Cameron isn't here. His presence is at home and school. I like to remember him. He sat really close to my desk, and so we got to have some, you know, some private moments and some banter that, that that's, that's how I want to remember him. His presence is also felt here, along 72nd Avenue, where the tree once was. I find peace and comfort there. I like to go there and um, sometimes I find um, some of Cameron's friends there. Sometimes they're just talking and hanging out. I've I've rolled up there and found boys on their knees praying there. Um, it's it's kind of sacred ground. <laughs> In a year everyone wants to forget, his family hopes we won't. They hold on to what could have been. We have faced a great deal of loss. This was his year to graduate, his time to celebrate his role in the football playoffs, a huge achievement considering he ruptured his spleen in preseason. He wrote his college essay about that experience, about being in the hospital and, um, and what it was like to lay there and think about not playing football and being injured. And, um, you know, it, it, the essay is, is interesting now. It's almost eerie because he was thinking about his own death and kind of thinking about the possibilities in his life. And in some ways, it almost feels like a, a prophecy or um, that he, he knew how fragile his life was. I think it's just how life was always supposed to be. The crash happened just before Christmas. No one else was in the car. He knew that I loved him, and I know that he loved me. He always... Um, said that we'd be on top of the world together one day, and he's already there, but I'll, I always tell him I'll meet him at the top of the world. They don't know why he didn't wear his seatbelt that time. They do know he had an astonishing influence on others. He had this great smile. That he, he would just flash this big smile, and it just sort of lit everything up. What started as a small scholarship in his name exceeded all expectations. Cameron was something. I also never told him how special he was, and I wish I would have done that. So I think it, it just emphasizes how important it is to tell people what they mean to you and, and how much you appreciate them. So, you know, it's a, it's a weird dance that you, you know, we'll, probably, we'll do the rest of our lives and stuff, you know, that, um, like I say, they, people ask you, what's this day like? I think the land you sent something to, to
to us a couple of days after it happened. They say it's the same day over and over again. You know, it doesn't change. He's still not here. He won't be coming here. So they ask us to spread a little kindness, just like Cameron. For a reminder, look to the side of the road. As a mom and as a, a family, the, the last thing we want is for people to forget Cameron. Um, I don't know if people want to keep hearing about Cameron, but I will continue to say his name. I'll continue to talk about him the rest of my life. The tree is, is gone now, but the, it's, it, that little space is sacred ground to us. You know, there's a piece of Cameron that's still there for us. This year's Cameron Holland Scholarship went to an RV senior who played basketball and ran track and suffered a blood clot. And just like Cameron, while recovering, he showed up to practice every day to support his teammates.